Once again, welcome. Today is May 7th. This is the annual town meeting for the town of Hadley. Um, the warrant has been returned and properly served, so I'll officially call this town meeting to order. Could I please ask that everyone rise and say the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our head table before us tonight. Sitting on my right is the Finance Committee. We have Lynn McKenna, Bill Gelinas, Chairman Howard Kosky. On my left is Town Council Joel Bard, Town Clerk Jess Spanknable, Town Administrator David Nixon, Selectman Jerry Devine, Selectman Guilford Mooring, Chairman, uh, Select Woman Joyce Chungalo, Select Woman um, Molly Keegan. At this time, I believe Joyce would like to make a presentation. Good evening. There we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to town meeting tonight. Um, it was great pleasure to do the dedication of the 2014 annual town report, and this year's recipient is Michael Klamaski. Michael, are you here? <laughs> of course he is. Mike has lived his whole life in Hadley. He graduated from Hopkins Academy. He has worked for the towns um, since 1974 and became highway superintendent in 1985 and has had um, many years of great experience with us. Thank you. He has um, been involved with the water uh, treatment plant. He has uh, been with the town's tree belt. He established the Shade Tree Committee in 1996 and under that he became the tree warden. He has also been responsible for the Connecticut River Dyke and over the years has been involved with several repairs to the dyke. Michael Halsell has been involved with community projects, most recently the gazebo created at Hopkins Academy Memorial Park with the Hopkins Academy 350th Committee. Because of his involvement with the schools in 2011 he was presented with the superintendent of schools Distinguished Service Award for Selfless Contributions to the Hadley Public Schools in 2014. Michael was honored by the Hopkins Academy 350th Committee and is an outstanding alumni of Hopkins Academy. Michael's commitment to the town is most apparent to the residents of Hadley as well to those who travel through the town during the winter months. He has received numerous commendations on the excellent condition of the roads after snowstorms. The town is fortunate to have such a devoted and conscientious employee. In acknowledgement of his longevity and commitment to the town, the select board dedicates the 2014 annual town report to Michael Klamaski. Just like to say thank you to the Board of Selectmen for picking me for this dedication. I mean, I've been here a long time. I've done a lot of work for the town of Hadley, and I greatly appreciate this dedication that the Board of Selectmen. I'd also like to thank all the citizens of the town of Hadley that I've dealt with, whether it's with trees, whether it's with roads, ditches, Connecticut River dikes, whatever the issues, I'd just like to say thank you for letting me do my job. Thank you.
My second dedication is of the Fred W. Fred Oakley Award for Volunteer of the Year. And this year we dedicated it to Margaret L. Tudrin. And um, she's not here with us this evening, but Kathy Tudrin is here. Would you come up, Kathy, please? Thank you. The W. Fred Oakley Award was established by the Select Board to honor members of the community who embody the spirit of volunteerism and service to the town of Hadley. The 2014 W. Fred Oakley Junior Award recipient is Margaret L. Tudrin. Margaret Pegg Tudrin is a long time, lifelong resident of Hadley. She graduated Hopkins Academy, I won't say the year, and Smith College. Uh, upon graduation from Smith College, Peg began teaching here at Hopkins Academy. And then uh, she went to Northampton and taught social studies, history, and psychology for 23 years over there. Peg has served in the town in many capacities over the years. She has given both time and experience as a member of the Hadley Historical Society, Hadley Historical Commission, Long Range Planning Committee, the Community Preservation Act Committee. Peg was also chair of the Hadley Democratic Town Committee and the Personnel Policy Handbook Committee. Peg Tudor has not only made a lasting impact on Hadley, but also in neighboring Northampton. She was a department head and curriculum coordinator for social studies in the Northampton Public Schools, president of the Teachers Association, and co-founder of the Northampton Education Foundation. The town of Hadley has benefited greatly from having Peg as a resident. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts also recognized her efforts by honoring her as an unsung heroine of Massachusetts in 2007. The town would like to show their appreciation of their dedication to the town of Hadley by awarding her this year's W. Fred Oakley Award, Junior Award recipient. Congratulations and thank you, Peg. We wish you well. On behalf of Peg, I'd like to thank the town for recognizing her efforts over the years for the town. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joyce. Um, to ensure that the meeting runs smoothly and efficiently, I'm going to ask that we follow the following rules. Anyone wishing to speak to an article, um, please move to one of the two microphones and wait to be recognized. Speakers will be limited to roughly three minutes or the discretion of the moderator. Keep all comments, please, relevant to the article at hand. No speaking, no person speaking in the personalities, name calling, or questionable the mental health of a prior speaker. <laughs> That's a big one, trust me. To encourage everyone gets a chance to speak to an article, I would like, if you have something to say, you've already spoke, please wait until the end. Having set those rules, um, I will read the motions, except for the very large ones at the end. I'll leave that up to you. Um, where is needed, I'll ask for a comment or recommendation from Select Board, Planning Board, um, Long Range Planning, Finance Committee, as deemed necessary. I will then seek a motion and a second, which will open up the motion for discussion. So having said that, we'll move right into tonight's warrant. As is customary to the last few years, we have a consent agenda, which consists of the following articles. Article 1, 2, 3, 10, and 20. And I'll give you a few minutes to look at them, but I'll run down what they are. Article 1 is a motion that allows us to apply for grants. Article 2 is what we call the Chapter 90 article. That allows us to use Chapter 90 money on the roads. Article 3 is the motion so that we can borrow money for the town. Article 10 is for the water treatment membrane 
We do that every year, um, and that goes into a fund to replace the membranes after their useful life. And number 20 is the CPA administrative our, uh, motion, which we have to do every year in order to have a CPA program. So I'll allow everybody to look at those, and if you have any questions, you can please move to the microphone. I have a motion and second. Like I said, I'll let everybody look at that. If anybody has a question, they can move. Um, otherwise, we'll move right along and vote the consent. Seeing none, all in favor of, of the consent agenda for the following item, articles 1, 2, 3, 10, and 20. Raise your green card. All those opposed passes unanimously.